Good morning, I am Marian Faye Abando, and I am your presenter for today. This is a continuation on the Electrical Standards and Practices in PEC or Philippine Electrical Code 2017. Chapter 3, Wiring Methods and Materials. Under 3.0.1.5, Underground Installations, says that underground cable and conductors installed under a building shall be in a raceway. So, ano ba yung raceway? Raceway is a metallic or non-metallic enclosure which is designed to hold the cables and keep them safe from any mechanical stress. So, ang raceway, protect yung wires and cables from heat, humidity, corrosion, water intrusion, and other um, general physical threats. Article 3.52, uh, Rigid Polyvinyl Chloride Conduit or the type PVC. So, ito makikita ito sa page 230 ng PEC 2017 if uh, itinan nyo. And doon makalagay din yung installation, uses, and under naman dito sa 3.52.2.11 is yung sizing niya. Uh, sinasabi lang dito na sa minimum, conduit na smaller than 16 and trait size 1 half shall not be used. And yung maximum naman niya, larger ng 155, trait size 6, also shall not be used. Under 3.52.2.1, is as permitted. So, dito, sinasabi lang yan na inaalaw niya i-install ang PVC under wet locations or yung mga areas like laundries or yung walls that are frequently washed or yung siguro yung lagi na uulanan. Sabi din niya, it shall be installed and equipped so as to prevent water from entering the conduit. All supports, bolts, straps, screws, and so forth shall be of a corrosion-resistant materials or yung mga material na mga hindi kinuhalaw. Three point ninety two point two point nine cable tray installation. A marking cable trays containing conductors rated over six hundred volts shall have a permanent visible warning notice carrying the wording danger high voltage keep away. Tapat naka place din siya sa readily visible position um, with a spacing of warning notices not complied with one point ten point two point one. So, ano ba yung cable tray? So, ang cable tray is uh, a system na gusto-support ng insulated electrical cables is for power distribution, control, and communications. So, usually made of uh, steel to, galvanized steel, stainless steel, aluminum. And, yung material na gagamitin mo is depend din kung ano yung, kung saan mo pang gagamitan. Yung 1.10.1.21 nag state lang siya na the manufacturer's name, trademark, or other descriptive marking which your organization responsible for the product can be identified shall be placed all, shall be placed on all electric equipment. So, yung mga, mga, mark, yung mga marking na yun, nag indicate siya ng mga voltage, current, wattage. So, nakalagay talaga siya dapat sa dapat talaga nakalabel siya ko mark. 3.52.2.19 Trimming All cut ends shall be trimmed inside and outside to remove rough edges. Example nito is yung RTRC or yung Reinforced Thermosetting Resin Conduit. Ano, ano kasi siya? Parang fiberglass-like conduit create, uh, created by tension winding strands of fiberglass over a rotating man mandrel. Ito naman, sa reaming, all cut ends of EMT or yung electromechanical tubing is dapat din ay marim or yung ma-remove yung rough edges, katulad ng trim natin. Pero dito karamihan ata ito is yung sa mga metal like yung sa uh, rigid metal conduit or ito, electromechanical uh, tubing. Yeah. 3.0.1.6 Protection against corrosion and deterioration. 
under nito is yung non-metallic equipment exposed to sunlight. Na sinasabi na we're exposed to sunlight, the material shall be listed as sunlight resistant or shall be identified as sunlight resistant. So, bakit pa kailangan na sunlight resistant yung gagamitin natin na non-metallic equipment? Kasi, paminsan, kapag ang material mo hindi siya resistant sa UV rays or yung ultraviolet rays, syempre, magkakaroon to ng physical, uh, either physical or chemical change sa materials na gagamitin. So, pwede maka-affect to o mag-effect dun sa natural and synthetic uh, polymer na gagamitin natin, kunyari katulad ng PVC or yung polyvinyl chloride or if ever nagagamit tayo ng rubber. So, kung too much exposure siya sa UV rays, pwede mag-fade yung color niya, mag yung strength. Ano, yung mga changes na ganun, mag, pwede mag-disintegrate or yung maging become less flexible siya. So, syempre, kapag ganun, ep, uh, epic pa kaagad. 3.0.215 or yung warning signs. Dito sabi, warning signs shall be conspicuously posted at points of access to conductors in all conduit system and cable system. So, dapat uh, madali itong makita, ano? Baka maglagay ka ng warning signs, nasa gilid-gilid naman. Dapat legible siya and permanent or yung hindi madali mag-fade. And, ayan, nakalagay, danger, high voltage, keep out. Okay, dito, material ng raceway um, shall be formed of steel, stainless steel, or aluminum. Kanina nabanggit na natin yung raceway, ano ko, anong, ano ba yung, ano niya, use niya, or ano ba yung function niya. So, dito nakikita niya yung picture ng raceway, yung isa aluminum, yung isa stainless steel. PEC Part 1, Article 3.26.2.17, Bend. Um, dito, naalala, para nabanggit na ito dati nung alala nyo kay Mang Joanna, yung nag-google ni tayo kay Sir Leo, um, nabanggit niya na a run of cable between full boxes or termination shall not contain more than equivalent of 4 quarter bends or 360 degrees total. Uh, pero sabi niya, paminsan naman daw baga hindi na susunod. I don't know kung what will happen if nagsobra siya. Siguro tanong natin next time. Anong mangyayari kapag nagsobra ng 360 total yung quarter bends na? Katulad dito, tinan nyo. Yung may picture dito and may mga number, ba? Like, yung isa, one lang, one, two. So, dapat hindi magsobra sa, ano, sa apat. Okay, ito nakikita nyo yung table. Is ito yung, uh, PEC table 3.10.2.6 or yung dyan yung makikita yung mga cable, different cable and yung ampacity nya. Okay, dito meron tayong conductor, insulation, description and temperature rating. Medyo nabanggit na din dati ni Sir Leo like yung ano niya na kapag nagtataas yung kunyari yung H, yung engineer niya nagtataas yung temperature. Okay, so yung TW, 60 degrees Celsius, THW, THHM, THWN, and ayan. Basahin nyo lang guys. Or kung ano, magpunta kayo sa chapter 3, page 300 ata. Page 300 ata, ayan. Okay, moving on. We, ha we are now on no chapter 4, equipment for general use. Article 4.0 is all about flexible cords and cables. So, ang 4.0.1.1, ang scope niya ay nagko-cover ng general requirements, application, construction of flexible cords and cables. So, makikita nyo dyan yung itsura ng armored cable type AC, non-metallic sheet or NM sheet, and the metal clad type MC. Kung makikita nyo, parang magkamukha yung armored cable and yung metal clad, ano, Pero sabi, ang na-search ko, ang na-search ko dyan is, ang difference niya is, ang um, MC cable, meron siyang EGC or yung equipment grounding conductor. Pero, both cables naman daw are armored. Okay. Ang function ng EGC, nag-prevent siya ng electrocution in the event of a short circuit or fault in the tool or equipment. Yeah. Markings, 4.0.1.6 uh, Standard markings, flexible cords and flexible cables shall be marked by means of a printed tag attached to the coil, reel, 
or carton. Ito lagi itong uh, tinatanong, dito nawawala. So, dapat may printed tag na, ka, na naka-attach yung cable cords, ano, or flexible cables. Okay, 4.4.1.3 enclosure. Sabi dito, switches and circuit breakers shall be of externally operable type mounted in an enclosure listed for intended use. So, dapat, tinan nyo sa picture. Nakita ko yan, kinuha ko yan dun sa webinar na inadadad ko na safety inspection and audit ata yun. Sabi niya, dapat ang panel boards um, accessible, uh, readily accessible yan or yung Ayan, capable of being reached without having to climb and without obstruction to enter. Tignan nyo naman yung, ano niya, yung panel board niya, nasa loob na. So, in, in case of emergency, haribong ka kaya 4.4.1.8, accessibility and grouping. So, sa location, all switches and circuit breakers used as switches shall be located so that they may be operated from readily accessible place. So, yung katulad kanina, yung nakita nyo, syempre, maling-mali. Ano? So, dapat tandaan natin ang panel boards and circuit breakers, uh, switches, dapat readily accessible siya. And dapat not more than 2,000 mm above the floor. 4.6.1.8, receptacles in dump and wet locations. So, ang receptacle installed outdoors in a location protected from the weather weather or in other dump location shall have an enclosure for the dump receptacle that is weatherproof. Okay. So, nakalagay dyan mga picture ng ano, mga weatherproof na receptacle. Nabanggit na din to. Kaya ako ito kinuha kasi nabang, uh, para ipakita lang sa inyo. Kasi nabanggit na din to dati ni Ma'am Joanna. Yung guest speaker natin dun sa subject na ano. Diba? 4.8.3.9 Enclosure Panel boards shall be mounted in cabinets, cut-out boxes, or identified enclosures and shall be dead front. Okay, when we say dead front, um, there, is, there are no live parts exposed to a person on the operating side of the equipment. So, kulang ano, ano, live part na naka-expose. So, dapat din ang panel boards, uh, exception, Panel boards other than of the dead front externally operable type shall be permitted or accessible only to qualified persons. So, pag, sinab pag sinabi natin qualif qualified person, ano ba to? So, yung mga qualified person, yun yung may mga experience sa, prof sa, sa profession, I mean, experienced professional with an in-depth critical understanding. So, dito, masasabi natin, ito yung mga... Uh, license, ano natin, ano, electrical practitioner natin, yung RME, um, REE, PEE, and pwede din naman dito yung mga electrician. This conclude my uh, presentation. Thank you guys for listening. And the next presenter is uh, Ms. Kalilaw. Okay, yung reference natin is yung Philippine Electrical Code 2017. And kung um, may mali man ako nasabi or may nalito man kayong part, correct me if I was wrong. And sorry in advance kung may mali man ako nasabi. And yun. <laughs> Thank you again.